This podcast is part of the Blueberry Network. You can find this and other great podcasts at Blueberry.com. That's Blueberry with no E's dot com. Hi, everyone. My name is Todd Cochran, the CEO of Raw Voice, the parent company at Blueberry, the podcasting community of choice at Blueberry.com at B-L-U-B-R-R-Y.com. And I want to welcome you to the first of a series of podcasts we're going to be doing on the Blueberry community. I think the uh, thing I want to start off with on this first episode is to talk a little bit about Blueberry and why it's advantageous for a podcaster to be involved um, in our community. As we were setting the Blueberry site up uh, almost a year ago and talking about what we wanted the site to encompass, we wanted to make sure that first and foremost that the site was designed for listeners so that listeners could come in of all experience levels and be able to enjoy content that they were able to find whether they were listening to it on the site or if they were going to subscribe to an RSS feed, if they were going to make a listing of shows with the MyCast system, whatever they wanted to do, we wanted to make it easy for all experience levels. And we've highly accomplished that very, uh, very effectively, and the site traffic continues to go up on a daily basis. Now, so far as the podcasters go, because most of our team are podcasters, we wanted to make sure that the site was set up in honored podcasters content and you'll kind of see as you get over on the website and are looking around you notice that there's not any advertising on the site that's wrapped around anyone's content and it's very clean and fast loading and that was the uh, by purpose it really really was but let me talk a little bit about why podcasters should be part of our community at blueberry.com We designed the site and set it up so that you, first and foremost, will get a great second point of presence. So that when you list your show over there, we know most of you already have your own primary websites. You've got great domains. You've done all your branding to set up your websites. And we realize that that will be your uh, that will be your primary home. But as Blueberry being a second point of presence, we wanted to allow you to bring a little bit of your home, in other words, your home website, into Blueberry. So when you get listed on the website, you're able to uh, bring in some of your branding and put it on the header of your show page. You can add your picture. Uh, You can bring your iTunes art in. You can uh, 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 really easily um, set up the description the way you want it to look, add tags, so that people are able to find your content when they come in and either search via our search uh, uh, engine or come in and actually um, look for content based upon a tag or are just searching the site by a category. So primarily, first and foremost, visibility. Okay, Visibility is, is our goal for podcasters, is so that you get great visibility on the website, and you're not, we're not building someone else's site out. We're building, helping you build your site and help you increase your listenership. That's obviously the number one goal by giving you the visibility that we do on the website. Number two is community. We want you to be part of a community that wants to be there. Now, every show that is listed on Blueberry has gotten there because the owner of that show has signed up. We do not just go out and suck in the 20,000 podcast listings. We don't do that. Um, That is the reason why the community today is around 1,000 podcasters. We've got 1,000 people that want to be there, that want to help build the community. In doing so, it's very, very simple. When you sign up, you agree to a couple of things. The main thing you agree to is that you help build the community. And and by doing so, you will, in your own podcasts, you know, in a way that you feel fit, mention that you're part of the Blueberry community in a non-intrusive way. I guess the way I do it on my show is I say, hey, just check out Geek News Central over at uh, uh, Blueberry and uh, give the URL to the listing. And that's basically what I do in my personal show. Now, how you do it would be up to you. But the main thing is every one of the thousand podcasters that are listed at or have signed up to be part of the community are doing that and are driving traffic to um, the website. Now, how that comes to an advantageous to everyone is that because we're all doing that, um, equally together we're sharing in the listenership that's coming over and looking for content on the website. Another part of the thing that happens when you sign up to be part of the Blueberry community is you essentially give us permission as a company to go out on your behalf and negotiate advertising deals. Now, this may sound kind of strange in the initial um, aspect of it, but here's what happens. 
you, but when you become a member, you'll fill out a advertising survey, and I'll take that advertising survey and I'll compile data based upon categories, based upon content and shows, based upon the demographics of your podcast listenership, and I'll take a, a subset of those shows and present to specific companies that will fit well with your podcast. I go through the negotiating realm of talking about how much the CPM is going to be, if you're going to have to put a banner ad on your website, whether or not you're going to have to have something in your show notes, whatever the generalities of the negotiation process is. When I get the fundamentals of the deal put together, then I come back to you and I submit the deal and say, here's what's on the table. Are you interested or are you not? And if you're interested and say, yeah, Todd, that sounds like a great deal I want in, I put you down as one of the podcasts that will be participating. If you say, no, that doesn't really fit my show, I'm not uh, comfortable with doing advertising at this time, you just simply say no. And guess what? We take you off the deal and we make adjustments with the advertiser accordingly to make sure that they're getting their money's worth and also making sure that you are able to get paid um, for the content that you'll be producing. So it's a, it's a really, it's a, a no-loss situation because you have the right of refusal to, of any ad deal that we put together. Now, when we went to Podcast Expo this past year, we put together some cards. And the cards essentially say on them, uh, Blueberry, visibility, community, and ownership. And it looks kind of funny with me poking my head over above the card there. But, um, you know, we do feel that the website is a new kind of podcasting community. Uh, we don't lock you in. We don't make you sign any contracts. Um, when you're running advertising deals with us, you have to stay part of the community. But once the advertising deal's over, if you're not interested anymore, you can say, hey, we want out, and we, we take you off the site. Um, in retrospect, um, again, you don't have to sign no contracts. That's the best thing, and we don't try to manipulate, don't touch. We don't uh, interfere with your content in any way. And I guess that's the best part about the community is that it is a community of shows um, that want to be on the website, that are working together as a team uh, to build a community. We hope that you'll consider joining the Blueberry community. And if you have any questions for me, you can send them to ceo at rawvoice.com, ceo at rawvoice.com. And, of course, visit the rawvoice.com website. That's where we talk about a lot of our corporate news that's going on. And watch the blog on Blueberry, too, because Rob, our marketing director, he's always putting information up there that is good info for all podcasters. Well, it's a, a sunny, beautiful day here in Honolulu. I'm going to get outside and head to the beach. But uh, for now, take care. Aloha.